Hello. Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Um, I thought of showing you something really simple that you can get using uh, white or as close to white as possible uh, a polymer clay and um, some cheapo acrylic paints. I know that I used to get them at Walmart for around a buck a piece. Um, don't know what price they are because I haven't set foot in a Walmart in a long time. But I chose, because I, I have to confess I have like a big tote full of acrylics. Um, some of them are, are years old and I don't know if I even can open them. Some of these might be the same. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then there's this um, set of stencils. And I want to show you. So hi Sharon, hi Lianca, hi Lane. Glad you made it. Uh, I wanted to show you which of them they are. It's on my Amazon influencer store. If you go, give me a second. Let me turn on the display. So if you go on my influencer store, you look for the board that's called stencils and dies. And out of all of these, it is actually this one. And so on the second row, the fourth, the one that says says B O A O. I don't know how to read that other than Boao. <laughs> and it's 30 pieces cookie stencil. 5.1 by 5.5 inches and it's 769 so uh, this is the one that I am using and I will also try to use the very first one that are actually stencils for fingernail painting um, but we'll see how that works I didn't try them yet we're gonna try them now for the first time so uh, the other thing that you will need, obviously, the clay, the stencils, the uh, paint, and I am using. I'm personally using these from Polyclay Play, and please don't forget to use my uh, affiliate link when you get them. Uh, they can be one use and then you throw them away but if you are careful and put them in water right after you're done with them you can wash them with soap or liquid dish detergent uh, let of course uh, wash them really good uh, rinse them really good and then let them dry and you can reuse them um, the same goes for mica powders, but I like to, to use this. If you do not find and if you cannot uh, use this, then use just simple, um, you can find bags of sponge, various sponges at the Dollar Tree, at Walmart. Um, let me see if I can find them on Amazon uh, usually they are sponges for painting and for decor so they look if you search sponges for painting um, because there are certain like on the very last one here natural sea and synthetic sponges you, you can do all kinds of patterns with them but the ones that you really want are these 12 pieces the second ones um, or you can as well get the fourth ones it's up to you but uh, a lot of times before I started getting the finger ones I was using these second ones in the list and I would just cut pieces out of them with the scissors and use them and then throw them away. But uh, this is pretty much what you need. Don't buy the black ones. They don't really do a good 
job you can look for better of the round ones and whatever you find the cheapest obviously so this being said let's get back to our thing let me say hello hi carleen hi christina hi colleen hi gaylene so let's start first with and i chose as i said i chose more pastelish colors and I'm going to grab something that's like with leaves. So this would be a leaf type one. And I lost my camera window again. Is this thing out of zoom? Yeah, they are just very close to the camera. Um, and there's one that I'm looking for specifically. And obviously it's going to be towards the end. Okay, this one. And there's another one, this one. Oops. Don't fall. And I'm very, very allergic to something and I've just been outside and I have so much post nasal drip <clears throat> and it's super uncomfortable. So if you hear me cough or something, it's because of that. Okay, you want to have ready some um, paper towels and let us start I'm going to have to prepare some more white here in a minute because I thought I had some prepared but apparently not so I'm gonna have to open a new package so I'm going to use one of these leaves and I am going to do a uh, gradient or <clears throat> what we use in polymer clay talk the word is skinner blend so we don't have to use these exact colors but like a light yellowish green uh, medium green and uh, a black green yeah, yeah, we know, Kanchana, you kind of rub it on. I'm just joking. But seriously, how bad it was it? So the first thing that you want to make sure is that your stencil is very well stuck to the, to the clay. So first press a little bit and then you can rub with your roller but rub hi Darla so I'm going to use the lightest yellowish one and I need to get some toothpicks ready thankfully today is the last day of cold here because it's been doing a number and I was a zombie for like two days I had again. I'm telling you this sleep disturbance problem of mine is going to kill me. Because I had again uh, Wednesday night and Thursday night. Two full insomnia nights. So for like two and a half days I slept maybe two hours. And... Uh, that obviously wasn't too good so I'm going to grab my little thing here and I don't want to get too much so I'm going to go in the lid and you see I did grab some and I'm going to use that, that for the very middle and you see I'm going a little bit on the 
on the leaves as well not much and I'm going to wash it and clean it a little bit and then I'm going to grab the next green Dang. you'd think you'd be safe safe from floods in the middle of the desert huh yeah but as a result I fell asleep I think it was around five o'clock on Friday I briefly woke up you know, sometime like one or two o'clock in the morning because I had to you know bathroom break and then let me clean the little thing again and then I woke up at seven and a half eight so I kind of recovered last night I slept properly and I woke up at six so my main thing is that I either cannot fall asleep at all or I fall asleep around 10 or 11 and then I wake up at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning and I cannot sleep again so it's not good and with this one I'm gonna have to be very careful and kind of see this is a little bit too much so I'm going to get this so this is a black green I'm going to go just strictly on the very ends of this of the leaves and trying not to get any of the surrounding ones but at the same time make sure that it got on that all right and one more clean up and then what I'm going to do is gosh this is brutal this green okay I got it and I'm going to clean it up as much as I can And then it's going to still be a little moist so I'm going to go over the areas where I want to blend so clean it again between the yellowish and the darker green one And then I'm going to go between the darker green and the very dark green. So your little sponge is supposed to be kind of with no or very little color on it, but still a little bit moist. And you need to do this before the acrylic dries out. You see how and I guess I need to go back again on the middle one you see how it blends all beautifully okay so we got this and now very carefully we are going to remove the stencil and there we go I did do a little bit of booboos here I got some other areas of the stencil and there we go and need to clean this so I'm using the paper moist paper towel but clean it right away don't wait okay 
so this would be one and you can see how you can do all kinds of beautiful things i mean you can do this uh, this thing you can do in uh, jewelry but you can also uh, do some um, trinket uh, bowls you can do jewelry boxes you can do um, of course you're gonna have to um, seal them if you do um, switch plates for your lights or um, for the drawer pulls <clears throat> and stuff like that if it's supposed to be touched a lot then you can uh, uh, you will have to obviously um, seal them with a the varnish otherwise if it won't be touched a lot acrylic kind of bakes into the clay so you don't have to have that worry now let's try something else and i need to grab my white because as i said i thought i still had some but apparently i did not Yeah, Kanchana, it's horrible, especially when you're tired, but you cannot fall asleep. You you start being like a zombie, and it starts affecting your concentration, your balance, even. It's like you're going into both cognitive decline and uh, motor decline. I don't know how to call it otherwise. Just a second. Let me get this in a clean grab. It's too big for any of my Ziploc bags. I prefer the old size for one pound because those would fit in a Ziploc bag easily. These don't. I have to go get special size Ziploc bag. So, just a second. Alrighty. Now, uh, let's do one more just for the understanding of it and this time we are going to do a double double so let me see what we want to do we are going to do this and combine it with this because we can so I'm going to first place this one here and the same as what as before i need to make sure that it is well stuck to the and this time i'm going to use on these some very pale um pink flesh style stuff peach so this is English lace, this is natural buff, as you can see I have all kinds of, this is pastel pink. And I do have a darker one, but I don't think, petal pink, I don't think I'm gonna use it. So, I'm going to grab this one to start with. And for this, I'm going to grab another sponge. And it will bring enough to go. Yes, absolutely. I usually don't, um, I put Chinese resin whenever I'm dealing with some type of mica or mica shift or something like that. 
because it makes it look like if it was baked and uh, sanded and buffed. So I can show you the direct results and not have you wait for 20 minutes for it to bake. But this definitely you can directly You can directly, of course, you have to wait for the acrylic to dry. Normal. And there are all kinds of different combinations and things that you can do. But only the UV, Chinese UV resin. That's the only one. Don't try that with Lisa Pavelka or any other U.S. resin. With any other U.S. resin, you have to bake the clay and then apply resin. I like to apply resin on the um, on the unbaked clay and then bake because. It avoids the clay curling because it's still the raw clay is still stuck to the whatever you use as a baking uh, support it's still stuck to that so with the UV resin having the tendency to dome itself it will pull and you've seen how you get the edges of the clay if the clay is already baked the clay will start um rising because you don't want to make the clay too uh too thick because it doesn't look good okay now i'm going to use another wait for this to dry a little and put this back again i wiped it and I'm going to put it the opposite way and again make sure it's well and stuck here and I'm going to use a little bit of a darker pink I'm going to use this pastel no you don't Leah, you don't have to bake the clay first and then apply the UV resin. You can apply the UV resin if, as long as it's Chinese resin, not the US resin. <coughs> okay, you know what? Um, I usually don't react badly, but if you're going to come on my channel, on my live to give wrong advice against what I say, please, you don't have to watch, okay? And there we go. I mean, that's extremely rude. Especially when it's stuff that I've been doing and doing and doing and without any problem. Okay, so I'm getting a darker, a little bit darker pink and different shade of pink. So it's like we are going to have a wallpaper. On which the other uh, thing will be sitting on. again my little sponge and this time I'm going to go with the green I know it doesn't uh, see a lot but I'm going to show it in a close-up to you once it's done <coughs> 
And by the way, I did show at one point, I do not remember in which of the videos, but I did show at one point how to, in case your clay curls because of the resin, how to uncurl it. It just involves simply a heat gun or putting them back in the oven for five minutes and then putting some weights on top of them. It's not a big deal. Just make sure that you put um, wax paper there too so it wouldn't mess up with the resin. and I'm going to do just this leaf and again making sure it is properly done and this time I'm going to use a Caribbean blue that I'm, I am able to open I usually make sure that I test them, but I had stuff to do around the house. As I said, it, uh, this weather messed up with me something fierce. I had a lot of pain. The barometer actually went below 29.7 at one point, so it was not fun and this time i'm going to go for more for the edges and careful here so i don't touch the neighborings and yes you can uh, you can um, clean if you messed up with your acrylic in other areas of the clay that you didn't mean to you can grab real quick a piece of paper towel and uh, put some alcohol on it and you can gently rub right. yeah and uh, generally speaking one thing you need, because we are talking about what resin can be affected by. Uh, resin is the most, and I'm talking the, about the UV resin, and again, not about the American kind, about the Chinese kind. Um, by, amazingly, even if it is a UV resin, it is affected by the sunlight and why is it affected by the sunlight? Because there are different types of UV light. I mean, there are different frequencies. And um, you have UV A, UV B, UV C, and UV R. That's why, for example, if you are in the shade or if you're not out in the in sunlight you cannot metabolize vitamin D because only the UVB metabolizes that and at the same time you cannot be in the sun too much because you increase your risk of skin cancer because of UVR so it's a little bit more complicated here but so again I cleaned my thing and I'm going to go in the middle and blend it nicely and like for example to you know that things can be disinfected with UV light and uh, like for the COVID-19 virus you can use a UV lamp that you go with with over there like uh, wand type lamps 
but make sure that you get a UVC kind. So I messed up here. I'm going to cut around it. Can you do this on beads? Honestly, only if you have cubic or rectangular parallel or parallel pipins. <laughs> Being so sorry, and it was a tongue twister for me. And, but uh, it's just as I said, you. I normally just use my finger. This is not good. I need a rounder one. Let me see. This will go on. Uh, can do a, an earring. And this is soft enough that you can have various types of off-white uh, scrap clay to use. Now. Me make this light a little bit darker. It's so different from the natural sun sunlight. It's hard to show everything that's on it. I mean, I can see with my naked eye the the pink on the bottom, but you probably can't. I really need to find a way to do natural light here when I try to show you things okay now let's try a a little bit of the tiny ones and see what we get because we can get uh, the ones that I set up for the fingernails Okay, so I don't even know if I shouldn't do a, a sparkly one, maybe. Get some of the color shift. Oops. Not, don't pull on them that hard. <laughs> Not to self. And there we go. And let me grab this one too. Yeah, and unfortunately I wasn't able to schedule my appointment for shots in the hands until June. So... You know what, let me go grab some of the pretty color shifts. Because I'm sure that these would look much better with the color shifts, you know. And we will put resin on those. Because they are pretty. Until I get my my shots, it's Valtorin all the way. That's the it's an ointment. Okay, so uh, should I get the aqua or the purple? Hmm. 
questo di acqua I'm gonna do the aqua for this and the red is the raspberry red and of course we can do with them also uh, gradients but I don't want to make it too complicated so again make sure that you don't you don't load the sponge too much never 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 load the sponge too much trying very hard not to get over the edges and I guess these are dispensable the paints themselves careful 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 and this would look better on black I don't know I didn't think before but we're gonna be okay at least you get the the idea of it of how to do it I did get over well, can always be careful how I cut right let's grab this real quick As I said, it's most likely better in uh, on the black than on the white. Nevertheless, I told you you can gently clean this up. If red is the worst to clean up. I'm going to just nicely scrape scrape it. But again, it's Oh, really? I need to look for that. I don't think I have pastel yellow. I know for a fact I don't have russet. That is for sure. But I need to look for those because you know how I, I have this obsession that on certain things I have to have all the colors even if I might not work with them for a long time okay so now let's try and get the do I have another just a second let me repurpose a mirror okay so I'm going to do a small oval so this would work beautifully and I think that if you do the circle on circular cutter you can easily uh, do bow two like that and you can cover a bead if you want to do a bead but yeah this definitely would look better with the color shifts especially would look better on black than on white but I already did it on white so the artsy part was uh, to show you how to do blends of acrylics on 
or using stencils because there are many more stencils than these. The ones that I have are fairly um, rough, so to speak. But let me go back again on the display to show you and just to for you to be aware of what other stuff you can do. So look at these and at all the the possibilities you have with doing some gradients with these how how pretty they are and you can go with various um, hues of gold for example but there was another one that I wanted to show you okay so these are cutting cutting dies we don't want that but look at the um, winter ones how much stuff and by the way and you can find more to do all kinds of fancy stuff and if you're into book uh, card making that's also a good thing but um, what I wanted to say is that at one point I used to make um, polymer clay greeting cards because the polymer clay would be really thin Okay, so I'm going to put the resin on it a little far from the camera because the bottle is al almost empty and I need to keep it straight up and I don't think you'll have any kind of enjoyment watching the bottom of my resin bottle. Alrighty. I got it. Where's my? I know I took out toothpicks, and the gremlins took them away. Oh, come on! Before they start going all over the place. And another thing, if you're using the sponges, especially when with colors like the uh, color shift paints, you're going to obtain an extra little effect because the way that the paint is gets uh, the paint gets layered with the this is kind of the paint gets layered with the the sponge. It kind of makes those little mica particles in there go all wonky, so it gives an extra shiny effect. Alrighty. Let me see this one. We can definitely do a big oval thing. directly and there we go how pretty it is of course you can do it in metallics and it's going to shine but this looks almost like a a regular thing and if you put it on uh, I don't have any in hand on those um, steel soaps and it will get a little bit like this it's going to look even better it's going to give an extra oomph to it you know you know what i'm talking about the steel the ones to that you wash your hand wash your hands with to remove the smell of onion oh. okay waiting for those two Go on. Did I put the other ones? Oh, it's here. Well, 
waiting for those two. Get uh, cured. The Michaels, I wondered if you can find them on uh, Amazon. Let me see. I know that I did not check lately. Oh, look, all of them. Hold on, let's go on display. On Amazon, the full set, 25 bucks. So, raspberry, I see there's a lavender, a hot pink. I have the orange. Lemon yellow, 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 green. I only have the yellow. Mint green flash. Glacier blue. See, there are more than that. I don't have copper. I don't have reddish brown. I don't have gold. I, I don't have midnight blue. I don't have peacock blue. Oh. This is something, huh? We need to get on, on that. Okay, so let's get to the to these. And turn the, I wonder if I turn off the light altogether. It's going to be because I'm in a dark room. No, it's not good. Let's go warm. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see better because that's the only way I can show you better how it looks like. I see a shopping spree soon. Okay, there we go. Now you can see it better. Hopefully. Still not dark enough. It's not, it goes from two separate sides. Hold on, turn one off. There we go. Now it should, you should see the change, color change difference. Kind of, sort of, let's try the other way. What the other one. It's different when it's in in sunlight. And that's the thing, unfortunately. I have to go outside, get my phone and go outside on to show you exactly how it looks like. But uh, But see, I don't know if you can see what I was talking about. Applying with the, see this red and even on the blue. Applying with the um, uh, sponge. See how the paint is uneven. It's all those tiny little touches from the sponge and makes it different, not extra sparkly, but different sparkly because you have all these different um, angles that the uh, those uh, paints reflect the light from. The, on the other one is aqua, but they look much better and it's easier to see on black. It's my, I should have started on black, not on white. That's my, my bad, but uh, Because it, especially the blue doesn't show much on white. The red does, but the blue doesn't, unfortunately. 
Uh, but uh, anyway, this is the way that you can get that nice uh, gradient. Just not very hard to do, and you can make a lot of tiny. And another thing that I wanted to show you, what you can, if you decide to do things like this, of course not with the leaf, but with different gradients. There's another thing, and it is somewhere in my, I think it's in the stickers thing. Hold on, let me see. I think it's in the um, resin. Let me find it. There are little uh, stickers actually that you can put in resin, and I was I was wondering if we shouldn't do something like that. I'm trying to find it. Gosh, I have so much stuff in this. Where's the resin? Resin, resin. Resin and kits. Okay, let's see. It should be in resin and kits. If not, I will have to to put them separately. Uh, yeah, I don't find them. So, uh, one thing that I wanted to show you. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm talking about because they are so tiny. There's, they are also for uh, fingernail painting. So you can get them if you want pretty fingernails. But uh, like for example you can do a lot of little hearts on the same thing or like a string of hearts. And they are for all kinds of, as you can see, this one is pretty much uh, Halloween and Valentine's Day. This one is all with leaves. And you get several kinds. And it was only a few bucks and more Halloween stuff and more Halloween stuff. Even if you just want it for your fingernails, but they, they would look cool on um, earrings because they are so small. This is just some card usage instructions. Again, upside down. But you can see there are all kinds, and there's a lot of them that you can use. I'll just have to look for them again, and because I must must have. When I reorganized my store, because I realized that it only shows 99 items on each section. So, I had too much and it wasn't showing the end, so I separated a few of the sections and I moved stuff. And in the meantime, I also checked everything. So... And I didn't move because you cannot really move properly, you know. I kind of add it to another list and I um, deleted it from another list and so on and so forth. And some stuff got lost in translation. But anyway, uh, I use a convection oven. And again, I think that I actually have it in my influencer store I don't know if it's they still make it but if not there's a oven and thermometer should be an oven and thermometer section uh, 
Unless uh, there are so many that I easily can get past it. the heck? Where are they? Where's my ovens? Oh, there you go. It's here. So, so this is my, in my influencer store, okay? The one, and then they are various, um, no, this is the one. It's not the one, it's a new one of what I have, but the one that I had was only when I bought it, but that was years and years ago. It was like 80 bucks. So I think that the closest would be this GE. That's the last one on this row. But I added here all kinds of um, convection uh, ovens and toasters. For all kinds of budgets. Oh no, actually this is the one. This is the one that I'm using. It is, it is exactly the one. Oh, not exactly the one. Mine is an older model, so it has a turning button here. But anyway, so I added ovens for all kinds of budgets and also and also a thermometer. And this uh, tile, you can get it much cheaper at your local Home Depot or uh, Lowe's or even Walmarts that have um, hardware and construction supplies. So, all righty. So I hope you liked it and you'll try your hand on doing some of these. If you don't have anything, you can just use whatever. You can use it on silk screens. The problem is uh, that with um, acrylic paint drying quite fast, you risk it to dry on the silk screen and ruin it. That's why I prefer to do this type of work with doing gradients and all kinds of stuff on uh, using stencils because they are plastic and they can always be cleaned. I mean, I don't know what would happen with silk screens if you dip them in alcohol because that's pretty much the only thing that would remove um, the acrylic paint. But um, I'd rather not risk it because they're expensive and they are delicate, so I'd rather use just the plain, you know, using the little swipey thingy and then quick in the water with them. So, okay. The paints, not all of them, Darla. Um, I didn't really put a lot of regular paints because for the simple reason that they are so much more expensive on Amazon, but remember, uh, if you still want me to get the, um, the those few pennies commission, all you have to do is to enter Amazon oh, and start searching through my influ influencer store because unless you log off and you like you quit Amazon before buying, and you quit your browser, um, unless you do that, my little cookie will keep no matter what you buy, as long as you enter through my influencer store. If you start, if you get yourself a favorite shortcut and you start on Amazon on that shortcut, I would get those few pennies from everything you buy, even if you don't, uh, but let me see if I have any of them in my paints. As I know I have the special ones. Obviously. 
Where the heck are the paints? Again, I cannot find something. <laughs> paints, there we go. Alrighty, so... I have some separate these. I have to add that um, set of the color shifts. But no, I don't think I have. I'm gonna put a few, but again, they are way more expensive on Amazon than if you purchase them from Walmart or whatever other place. So thank you again and thank you for being here with me. Don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget please to use my affiliate links and have a wonderful what's left of Sunday. Bye.